Good afternoon, Lakeside Rider here. I am heading up to the mall to meet my friend and his girlfriend who I have not yet met to meet. So you know what I mean. So, it is kind of nice, a little windy out. But nah, it's not the first time I've ridden in the wind. As we were supposed to go for a ride on Sunday, but some stuff piled up. The weather turned sour real quick. Uh, severe thunderstorm warnings and stuff. And I guess over by Syracuse and Utica, they posted tornado warnings. So, hopefully everybody's all right and none came through. I don't know if any did or not. I've been checking the, the news lately, so. But it's not bad. I'm gonna ride from Clifton to Victor, up to Eastview Mall. That'll be a nice little ride. A little on the breezy side, though. I think they're saying 10 to 15, maybe gusts up to 20 or something like that. I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't check the weather. All I know is it's in the mid 60s and the sun is out. Why for you break? You're not going fast enough to break around the corner. Uh, pardon me, I gotta adjust the pro here. There we go. A little off angle, I don't like that. It kind of bothers me. It's, it's, it's like OCD kicks in. You know it's supposed to be straight, but it's not straight, and it bothers the crap out of you. wind therapy today. Well, I know in previous videos I talked about the, uh, the chin skirt for my helmet and I don't have one. I've noticed that there hasn't been too much wind noise involved. I'm still looking in to get one. I'm not sure yet. Depends on how, how, how yeah, but on how long I keep this helmet. I'd like to get one that's more suitable for hooking a GoPro and other stuff up. So, but we'll see when the time comes. I do like the HJC Max helmet series. Um, I currently running the Max 2, which is real nice. I, I like it, but I got to take a look at the Max 3 and see if it's actually more more friendlier hooking a GoPro up to it than this one is. And this helmet here actually took me a little while to figure out how to mount the GoPro up to where it is now. So, yeah, still not centered right. There we go. I think that might be better. Looks better. Let me tilt it up a little bit there so we're not staring at the road the whole entire time. So, you know, I I would go with the top, you know, with the top mount, but with this being a modular helmet and the whole front actually comes up and over, it'd be right where the GoPro would have to sit. But on my motocross helmets my that I wear for four-wheeling it's kind of a pain in the butt because it actually makes your profile a lot taller as in catching limbs lots of tree limbs and I'm always worried about going underneath a branch or something and having it taken completely off and not knowing well, I probably would know if I heard it. But it's just, I don't want to take a chance. Uh, I'm 
sorry for I know I said Sundays and Wednesdays for uploads Sunday there was technical difficulties I did go for a ride Sunday morning but for some odd reason the video I wanted did not come out very good and I'm not going to post it if I'm not happy with a video I will not post it because to me I think that's garbage and you know I'm trying to get into this and make it a lot better than what it is It's a nice day out. It's gonna suck when I get in Victor though, because Victor's got a lot of traffic right now. So hopefully it won't be too bad up by the mall, but it is Victor. The actual coming into Victor from the east side of it isn't normally too bad. It's when people are coming from the city of Rochester. They get they get stupid and then uh they also get cheap too because a lot of times they just go through Victor. They come all the way down 490, come through Victor, instead of paying that, what, 25 cents to go from the Victor to the Farmington exit, which is 332, and it's a four lane road all the way to Canandaigua, which can handle the traffic a lot better. But people are, are cheap. They're like, oh, we don't want to pay that quarter cent. Or, you know 25 cent charge or 35 cent charge or whatever it is it's just a quarter whatever pay it I've done it before I'll do it before well I did it before I'll do it again come on people don't make me put my foot down I did happen to see a few bikes out today, so I was like, yep, as soon as I get home from work, I'm going to get on the bike, and I'm going to ride. And then my buddy called me, said, hey, we're in Fairport. And I was like, all right. He goes, I'm hungry. Where do you want to meet up? And I was like, well, I'm not sure. I go, all I know is I'm going to get on my bike. And he said, let's meet at the mall. So we're going to meet at the mall. We're gonna head to the food court. The wonderful, wonderful food court. That's all right. I'm on my bike. I got the sun above me. With some funky looking clouds. I got the wind. Hitting all up on my chest. And my arms. And my legs. And I'm having a good ride. So, my pet peeve about riding, well, not so much about actually riding, but it's what people do to the road when you're riding. Like the morons that constantly feel the need to blow out a whole damn haylot into the road and think it's fine. It's not fine at all. It really is not. Especially if you're a biker and you're not paying attention. Because if you hit that grass, you're going to be laid out on the road. And then to, to ride past someone or drive past someone that's mowing and blowing their stuff out. Who's to say they're not going to hit a, hit a rock and shoot it at you? It's, it's ridiculous. People don't think. You know, that's that common sense thing that, you know, society is slowly been getting away from. Actually, I can't say slowly. It's like rapidly getting away from. 
That's why we got warning labels on everything. You got somebody stupid, did something they shouldn't have, and they end up getting hurt. And, and that's why we got warning labels. But mowing your grass. I was thinking maybe having signs made. Oh yeah, this is a perfect stop right here. I was thinking about getting signs made up for people to put in your yard that says, I'm an asshole. I blow my yard into the road when I'm mowing. And, and just put it right there, right in their, uh, in their yard. It'd have to be a nighttime thing though. Or I'd just say piss on it and do it during the day. Screw their feelings if they can't take a joke. But it's not a joke. It's a statement that they're stupid. I mean, uh, I know some people are probably going to see this and say, oh, you know, it's always the biker, always the biker. Well, no, I, how about you're driving in your car and somebody's mowing their grass, blowing it out to the road, all right? Nice sunny day out, you got your tunes going, you got the wind all through the cab of your vehicle, and next thing you know, you got a rock shot at you and just happened to be a miracle shot where it goes through your open window and actually, actually hits you. Or your passenger, let's say your passenger is a child. It's gonna hit the kid. So. And the other thing is like, when people go to driving school and stuff like that. I highly doubt those instructors teach these kids about, hey, listen, don't overlook what you're looking at like if you see what looks to be a motorcycle make sure it's a motorcycle it's just like they don't teach them the consequences of cutting a big truck off right before a stop sign but then again you know kids got a lot of lot to do while driving you know they gotta talk to the whole group of friends that really shouldn't be in the car because they're a stupid distraction and, and that seven inch piece of glass and plastic that's more valuable than life itself. Because heaven forbid people actually miss what Kim Kardashian or Cardi B or whatever the fuck these kids listen to is gonna miss. It's just kids nowadays do not have a clue what's going on. Completely oblivious. I probably just said that word all, all screwed up, didn't I? Oh, well. I mean, we work... We got a couple... We had we had a couple kids, but we got one kid at work. I'm not mentioning names, nor am I going to say any names. But... He doesn't... Yeah. Uh, yeah, how, how can I put this? He doesn't get it. Doesn't get anything. I mean, I mean, you can tell him stuff and he'll shake his head. But uh, he, he just doesn't get it. You know. I want to be a nice guy and say, hey, dude, you know, you really have to. But I, in a way, I do feel sorry for him because... There's about four other guys in this in the shop that I work at who keep telling them how to do it and how to do it and how to do it or you gotta do it this way and you gotta do it that way. So he's getting he's getting information whether it's good or good or not from four different people and it's like it's it goes in into the cranium capsule and just bounces from wall to wall a wall and he never picks up on anything I mean he's a smart kid he's a real smart kid don't get me wrong but you know if you don't pick up on anything then you know you got to think of something that's just my little rant but 
But, you know, it is what it is. I mean, the parents want to be more friends than they actually want to be parents, which that's kind of upsetting. You know, kid gets arrested for robbing a bank or something. Oh, he never do such a thing like that. He's a good boy. Man, we have him. That's not my kid. Man, we have him on camera. Oh, no, that's not my kid. He's a good boy. You know, there's, just, there's just no discipline, you know. And, and, then, and then, of course, you know, you got your... Your weak man bun people. Yes, I said it. Man buns. Who, oh, we don't want to punish our child. You know, our child, he will learn. Well, he ain't going to learn if you don't punish. Well, I hope this kid's mom knows he didn't blow her speakers. Maybe I should have gotten in this lane. What's up, dude? Well, traffic's actually pretty good right now. We'll see what it gets gets into when we get in Victor, how bad it gets. I might actually cut up line all and come down Eldridge Road. I know I don't want to do that because that stupid bridge right there and it is hard to see and I just took on 96. I don't know. I'll do something. I will do something whether it's good or not. You know, I'll probably need gas on the way home. Oh, they don't have my RS1 there. So we're going to really get into the planning stages of the Whiteface Mountain Trip. And we kind of Googled it and it says it's about five hours and some change away. So we figure if we leave early on a Friday and go, you know, just take our time. We'll probably get there about, you know, Probably right, late afternoon, early evening or so, check in. And, you know, and have a good time for the night. Get up on Saturday morning, head up to the mountain. You know, have a good time up there. You know, see some other sites along the way. And then ride back on Sunday. So it'd be a nice, good weekend trip. I'm trying to plan it because I know everybody's busy right now. But I want to plan it to where the people that do ride can uh, enjoy this trip. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to be filming. So we'll see where it goes. I know, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the bigger tank on it by then or not. The goal with this bike is to get the four and a half gallon tank to put on. Uh, the exhaust I'm going to order next month for it. I do got the handlebars. I do got the cable extension kit for it. So hopefully maybe sometime this coming Memorial Day weekend I can get that installed. 